In today's video, I'm going to talk about why I returned my Dyson Airwrap. Hey everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lisa Money Beauty, where we cover all things beauty and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. Now, I'm going to start this video off with a disclaimer because I know people love, love, love the Dyson Airwrap. So I'm going to just have this whole bunch of comments telling me everything that I've been doing wrong um, with the Dyson Airwrap. <laughs> Uh, but it just didn't work for me. So I'll just tell you a little bit about it. My daughter asked for one for Christmas, and so she brought it with her on our Christmas ski trip, and I tried it, and I liked it. I loved My hair looked really good. So before, while I was still there, I ordered myself one because I don't live with my daughter. She lives in another state. Um, I ordered myself one so it would be delivered, and I would have at the beginning of the new year. And so I got my Dyson hair wrap and I used it, well, I used it pretty much every day for 30 days before I decided to return it. And maybe two days a week, my hair looked so fantastic. But don't forget, I wash my hair every day. So that means I have to do the whole Dyson air wrap, prep, separate, small pieces of hair every single day. So I was watching a video by Risa. Risa um, does makeup and she was singing her praises and how it totally changed her life and um, showed how she uses the Dyson Airwrap. And it was funny because as I watched the beginning of the video, it was exactly the reason why I no longer <laughs> have the Dyson era. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it to you in a really fast. I can do my hair straight in 10 minutes. I can do my hair like this with a curling iron in 15 minutes. It took me at least 30 minutes to do my hair with a Dyson air wrap. And then usually I had to go back in with a curling iron to curl a few uh, pieces, or I had to kind of manipulate it to kind of get it to where I wanted and my hair was not as shiny because using the Dyson tools, it did not smooth my hair as much as the Revlon One Step. So when I watched Lisa's video, I saw that she uses a big brush and a hair dryer to smooth her hair first, and then she does her, uh, separates it and does the air wrap. And so she blow dries it to get rid of the excess hair, then she smooths it, and then she goes in at the end with that Dyson air wrap. And it was beautiful. I mean, her hair looked absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I'm, I'll, I'll show you, I'll put a clip here. I, that was a good hair day. When I finished with my hair on this day, it looked really good. But I did have to separate my hair and then work my way around on the under layer and then drop the top layer and then work my way around. And I had to use really small pieces. Now I never bought the long hair attachment. If it wasn't sold out, I probably would have bought it. So I did buy one in purple <laughs> for my daughter because she had the blue, the blue air wrap. And so she didn't want the hot pink one. And so I guess the long barrel comes in pink or a purple. So I bought her the purple. She said it was life-changing. Um, I did not use the long barrel but just using the short barrel, it just took a long time to get the hair to actually wrap and wrap it nice and tight. Now, it was nice and hot, and the air dryer portion of the air wrap is extremely powerful. Like if I had it aiming down onto the counter when I turned it on, it would you know, pull my hair back. So it is definitely a high quality hair dryer but my $39 or $29 Conair Infinity Pro also is a really strong hair dryer and pulls my hair back. Um, so the Dyson Airwrap retails for $549. Now you can wait and try and pick it up at a Sephora sale, which is when I bought my daughter's um, and eat for 20% off. It's pretty much the best sale price that you're going to find. But overall, worked my way through my hair, it looked beautiful, but it didn't look beautiful every day. Like this was done with a curling iron and I would consider this not the best curling iron day, but it only took me five minutes. <laughs> it didn't take me 30 to 45 minutes and then just to have a not so great hair day. Um, 
And and that really was the bottom line. It was like for four, $549, did I need a hairdryer that I could do a very similar style in five minutes with my $35 Conair uh, Infinity Pro. No, this is an Infinity Pro. This is the Ceramic Tools, uh, Conair Pro Ceramic Tools. I love this curling iron. Now, I can use this curling iron a couple of different ways. One, I can, you know, clamp it and use it for big curls and kind of pin it and then kind of have that big soft wave, which is kind of that blowout look. Uh, pin it until it curls or till it cools. Or I can do as a wand because it's so hot that you can really work it as a wand. Now, let me just tell you, this curling iron is so hot, it will melt whatever it's near. So... Uh, I definitely have a towel or a heat map. I even like, I like a towel underneath a heat map on my counters because I have quartz counters and those can be damaged by heat. I don't want to stain my quartz counters. Um, and then I don't like to use it as a wrap with the stand. So I have to push it down. So I just don't want it touching the counter. So I have like a heat mat, mat and then I have a folded up black towel underneath. And that's how I put it down. The other terrible thing about this one is it doesn't turn off. It doesn't have auto off. So it heats up in about a minute, extremely hot, curls extremely fast. You don't need to hold it very long. But I was doing a photography client's hair and then, you know, we finished up and I put everything away. And then two weeks later, I went to do another client and it was still on. Thank goodness it didn't burn my house down. So that's the bad thing. You got to really remember to turn this off. But I do love this Ceramic Tools uh, series, the gold series. And I buy this on Amazon. Like I said, it was anywhere from $30 to $35. I think this is a one and a half inch barrel. Yeah, I think this is a one and a half inch barrel. I have them in the one inch barrel. I have them in the two inch barrel. I have these in, in, and then I have a really tiny one too. So... You for a hundred dollars, I can have my, uh, I can have my hair dryer. I can have my one step air dryer, and then I can have a curling iron, and I can get all kinds of looks quickly for less. Now the funny thing is, when I got the Dyson Air Wrap, I gave my oldest daughter the one step dryer because I was like, oh, well, it's got a brush here, a smoothing brush. So I can just do the same thing with the Dyson. So here you have this, you take that home with you. And so then when it didn't smooth out my hair the same, it gets hot, but not quite as hot as the one step, which some people don't like the one step, you know, it does have a heat setting at the bottom, but I always use it at the hottest setting. Um, and if you watch my hair video, you'll see how I use it. And I don't really keep the heat on the ends, which is why I don't really dry out my ends. But when I tried to use these smoothing tools in on the Dyson, it just didn't make my hair as shiny. So I was getting, you know, some real pretty body, but then it was not shiny and smooth. It was a little fuzzy up above. So I didn't like that. And then I didn't like that it took me 45 minutes every morning to do my hair instead of 15. And then I didn't like that I didn't know if it was going to be a good hair day or a bad hair day. And I didn't like it. it was $549. So if it had been a $50, $60, $100 product, I probably would have kept it because, you know, there were, there were some really good days, some good hair days. But overall, just for the cost for how it lengthened the time that I spent doing my hair and how I wasn't even guaranteed um, a nice flip or nice volume that would last all day, um, I just really decided to return it. And then I, I went to Walmart and I bought their five-in-one $60 tool, which is supposed to be a Dyson knockoff. And I will tell you, if you've been thinking about that, unless you have like baby fine hair, like a five-year-old, baby, baby fine hair and really thin, I wouldn't waste your money on it. Uh, one, when you even take it out of the package, it feels like a plastic toy. It feels like a toy hair dryer. It's that light, especially, you know, I've had the Dyson for a month and it was a good hefty, you know, good weight, good quality. It was definitely good quality. Uh, but the <laughs> Walmart five in one, um, one, which is av available from a third party sellers. They have a bunch of third party sellers. It's made in China and it just felt like a 
piece of cheap plastic. And then when you had it on high, it was probably the low setting on any other hair dry that, dryer that I own. So, I mean, it barely moves your hair. It gets warm, but not really hot. It gets, it gets hot, but not really hot like my other uh, hair dryers. Um, I could take very small pieces and actually get them to do the same as the Dyson. I could get them to air wrap just like the Dyson, but because it wasn't as hot, you know, they didn't last as long or they didn't last long at all. And I mean, I only just did a few pieces up towards the front because if I thought the Dyson doubled the time that it took me to do my hair, this cheap five in one would quadruple the time to do my hair if I was trying to do my whole head of hair because it was so weak that you had to just use the smallest amount of hair and then you had to kind of push it you know, to try and get it to catch and to wrap. So anyways, I would not waste your money on the, um, the cheap version. If you only do blow out your hair once or twice a week, you might like spending the time uh, with that Dyson Airwrap. But for me, it was just too much money, took too much time, and I didn't guarantee the great results. I'll, all right, I am gonna preface, say one more thing. If I went really slow and separated my hair and did it all in little stages, I probably could have got really good results every time, but I didn't always have time to do that. So a lot of times I'm just trying to wrap it, you know, as I go with my hair down, you know, just grabbing pieces and yeah. And it still took me 40 minutes. So anyways, I am just, just as happy with my curling iron and getting just a little bit of volume like this. Like I said, today is not a great curling iron day, but then it was only $30. So that's just my experience with the Dyson Airwrap. After, after 30 days, since I bought it at Nordstrom's, I did take it to the Nordstrom rack and return it. Um, he said they were surprised because most of the people love them. And I said, yeah. It just, I just didn't. And so let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you have the Dyson Airwrap and if you just absolutely love it. And I don't know, when my daughter comes home and brings her long barrel, maybe I'll play with that again and buy it again um, at a Sephora sale. But I really, I really, for me, I really feel like it's not worth more than 100 maybe $150 max for what I'm using it for. Okay, and that's it. That's why I returned my Dyson Airwrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.